So in this video, I am going to use CloneZilla to clone copy this Windows 11 computer to another hard drive. So this is a C drive of this computer. The size of the C drive is 256 gigabytes. And this is the drive that I'm going to copy the C drive to. And this is one terabyte. So the E drive is one terabyte in size. So this is a CloneZilla website and this is in the download section. So there are two options, alternative stable or stable. Either one is fine. I'll click on the stable version. So this is a CPU architecture. So there's select CPU architecture. I'm going to leave it as AMD64. And this is the select file type. There's zip and ISO. I'm going to download the ISO file. I'm going to click download. That is downloading from SourceForge. So I'm going to create a bootable USB drive for this. And I'm going to be using Rufus to create that bootable USB drive. I'll download the Rufus CXE file. So I'm going to open command prompt. I'm going to type disk part. I'll type list disk. So these are the two drives that are in this computer. Disk 0 is a C drive, it's 256 gigabytes in size, and disk 1 is the 1 terabyte, which is a blank SSD hard drive. So I'm going to use CloneZilla to copy disk 0 to disk 1. Okay, so I have the ISO file of the CloneZilla on the desktop, and I also have the Rufus EXE file. I'm going to open Rufus. So I'll click select to select the ISO file. So on the partition scheme, it depends on your BIOS settings in your computer. You can choose MBR or GPT. So I'm going to select GPT. I'm going to click start. Click OK. Click OK and it's going to wipe out everything from the USB drive. And this is creating the bootable USB drive. Okay, so the bootable USB drive was created. I'm going to click close and I'm going to take this bootable USB drive and boot up the computer. So I want to get to the boot menu of the BIOS and this is the boot menu. So I have to select the USB drive and this is the one I want to select. So this is the USB drive. I'm going to hit enter on the keyboard. So on this page, I'm going to choose a second option. Hit enter on the keyboard. Okay, so on this page, I have to choose the language. I'm going to leave it as English, hit enter. This is the keyboard configuration, and it says change your keyboard layout. I'm going to leave it as default, click OK. So I'm going to start CloneZilla, hit enter on the keyboard. So on this page, you have to make your choice here. The first one is device image. The second option is device to device. So I want to choose that device to device. Hit enter on the keyboard. So there are two choices here, beginner mode, accept the default options, and there's expert mode. I'm going to leave it as beginner mode, hit enter. So on this page, there are two options, disk to local disk or part to local part. So I'm going to leave it as the first option, disk to local disk, hit enter. So here is where you have to choose the source. Now you want to be very careful. You want to make sure that you choose the right source. So I have three options here. So the first selection here is a one terabyte. Now this is the destination, it's not the source. This is the 256 gigabytes, and this is the source drive. This is the C drive. The other one, that's the USB drive. So the source drive is going to be the C drive, which is 256 gigabytes. I'll hit enter. Now here is where you have to choose the destination or the target drive. And you can see it here, choose local disk as target and all data on the disk will be deleted. So the target drive or destination drive will be the one terabyte drive. I'm gonna hit enter. So here 
You can skip the check-in repair source file system. I'm going to leave it as the first option. Hit enter. I'm going to skip check-in or repair source file system. So there are two options here. And it says here, choose a mode to create the partition table on the target disk. So it gives you a warning here. Everything will be deleted in the target disk. And Clonezilla will not clone a large disk partition to a smaller disk partition. It will only clone a small disk partition to a larger disk partition. I'm going to select Create Partition Table Proportionally. Hit Enter. So here, you will have to choose, would you like to reboot the computer when Clonezilla is done or shut down the computer? I'm going to choose shutdown, click OK. So it says here, hit enter to continue. And it says here, are you sure you want to continue? I'll type Y for yes, hit enter. And it gives you another prompt. Are you sure you want to continue? I'll type Y for yes, hit enter. Okay, so the cloning is taking place. So the length of time that this is going to take to clone, it all depends on the size of all the data in the source drive, which is the C drive. So the cloning of the drive was completed. So I removed the 256 gigabyte SSD drive and I only have the one terabyte SSD drive installed in the computer. So it's booted up into Windows. So it booted up successfully. So I'm going to log in. I'm going to open File Explorer. I'll click on this PC, and this is the one terabyte SSD drive. So it took about 12 minutes to complete the clone. And as you can see, the use space is 84 gigs, and this is the free space. So I want to thank you for watching, and I thank you for subscribing.